Many countries are vying for talent. There are often narratives about the global competition for talent. However, growth is not a zero-sum game. In fact, healthy competition makes us stronger and creates more vibrant and dynamic cities. We all stand to benefit if we invest in human capital, remain open to the flow of talent, and encourage the exchange of people and ideas. Hong Kong First, to your point about the fierce global competition between ourselves and Hong Kong, I don't necessarily subscribe to that. Uh, because I think both cities have its own innate advantages, competitive uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, advantage, as well as also its own, you know, sort of special niche, mm-hmm. so to speak. Mm-hmm. And Hong Kong has a rich hinterland, uh, the greater Bay Area, the aspirations and so on that's set in terms of how that development is going to be with uh, Shenzhen, Guangzhou, mm. Macau, and then the new upcoming uh, Hengqing development. Mm. These are all you know, very, very good uh, bright sparks. So in that sense, I think both of us can actually be shining cities and we work closely together rather than compete, right? We should cooperate closely and both becoming, uh, you know, sort of a, a very solid springboard to leapfrog and to sort of springboard into our respective regions. But just at the civil service level, mm. the regular exchanges between top civil servants from Hong Kong and also, likewise, our public service division. Mm. Um, I just recently, just this year alone, I think I hosted at least three meetings um, with uh, my counterpart, the Labour Secretary. Mm. And, and also, uh, earlier on, about two months back, um, uh, um, Chief uh, Exactly Tak Sao, uh, mm. Mr. John, the Honourable Mr. John Lee, was here with his entire entourage as well. So we've got multiple opportunities to exchange. Mm. In terms of trade, we are both fourth and fifth, respectively, yes. in terms of our trading partners. So that understanding, the, um, the collaboration, the mm. frameworks has been set. We are open. We are open and we're very welcoming to talent globally to come into Singapore and we welcome them. Now, so it's important because if you look at Singapore, we have no natural resources. Mm. Our only resource is human resource. So manpower. And it's therefore important for us in terms of making sure that we also offer a very transparent, predictable and clear Mm. framework in terms of how these talent can come into Singapore to work.